ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video, and I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this Saturday, September the 6th edition. And it looks like the tropics are still our main topic, but let's go ahead and look at a couple of SkyCam images. Here's Chiha. We're seeing some, uh, looks like some alta cumulus clouds up there. Perhaps those are uh, high cirrus clouds. Uh, and uh, we're seeing a few showers in the area. We'll look at radar in just a minute. Here is uh, the Gulf Shores camera and uh, certainly would like to be on the beach down there while the weather is tranquil. Now, Across uh, the U.S. Uh, and across central Alabama, we're dealing with a bit of a convergence zone. And we can see uh, two of the main interests, Hannah uh, over uh, North Carolina there, and then Ike in the lower right part of your picture, uh, general high pressure over the central U.S. At the upper atmosphere, 500 millibar pattern overlaid on the water vapor imagery. Uh, we can't quite see Ike. It's down there just off the picture, but there is uh, Hannah. Hannah is, uh, like say, in the Carolinas and being picked up in the a uh, strong uh, southwesterly flow ahead of that trough over the central U.S. And uh, this is all going to be very interesting here, but we are seeing a note of fall as temperatures are cooler in the north-central part of the United States. And uh, my daughter in Chicago has been uh, calling me and letting me know about those cool temperatures which she's having and we're not. Here's uh, the watch warning map for the U.S. And, of course, you can see all the action uh, from the Carolinas all the way up to New England with lots of watches, warnings, and uh, advisories for all the weather associated with uh, Hannah as she moves pretty briskly up that way. Now, we are in a convergence zone, and we do have a few showers. Here's a look at our pinpoint Doppler radar this morning. And uh, you're not going to get a lot of rain. The showers are moving quickly, and I think probably most spots, if you get even under the heaviest showers, will get maybe around a tenth of an inch. But certainly that is something. The tropics are certainly our focus right now, and here is a look at the overall tropical picture. Hannah there in the kind of the left upper left part of your picture. Ike uh, sort of in the middle, and Josephine dissipating. Uh, isn't that interesting? Ike uh, is the main focus for us. Uh, coming into the Gulf, but it's interesting that Josephine has dissipated and the Hurricane Center no longer issuing advisories on Josephine. Uh, I wouldn't say from that cloud picture that it will uh, certainly be gone completely, but we'll see. Here's a look at uh, Hannah. Hannah came ashore last night and uh, or overnight and is now beginning to move uh, rather briskly. And here is the track, and it should be, you know, up over the Canadian Maritimes uh, by Sunday afternoon, so moving away pretty uh, briskly. Here's a look at Ike, and Ike has uh, been dealing with a little bit of shear, and that has kept uh, the storm kind of in check, and uh, so uh, winds around 100 knots this morning. And the uh, future course of uh, Ike, uh, it looks like a ridge is kind of developing between Ike and Hannah, and as it does, that's going to force Ike to come a little further south. Now it looks like a big threat to the uh, Cuban country down there and uh, as it's going to rake the uh, northern coast. And here's the Hurricane Center's official track as of uh, uh, 4 a.m. this morning. Hurricane warnings in effect for the southern Bahamas and a hurricane watch for a good portion of the central Bahamas. And I'm sure that uh, warnings and watches will be issued for Cuba as well. And it does look now like uh, Ike could very well get into the Gulf. Of course, they evacuated the Keys, uh, are evacuating the Keys today, and that still looks like a good idea. Now, let's go ahead to the 06Z GFS model run. And uh, here's the 500 millibar pattern for this morning. We've got the trough over the north central U.S., uh, and that trough picking up Hannah, moving Hannah off briskly. And there is the surface pattern, and we can see Ike and Hannah. Uh, Ike continues to move, and the GFS uh, is one of those kind of right close to the middle. Um, uh, Ike moves uh, toward the uh, southern coast of Cuba uh, tomorrow on the 7th, on Sunday. And then by uh, Monday at midday, Ike is uh, somewhere in the area of the central coast of Cuba as it is uh, traversing the southern uh, Bahamas and getting uh, along Cuba. Uh, Ike continues to move uh, right along the coast of Cuba on Tuesday as it gets ready to and is poised to move into the Gulf. Now here's the 500 millibar pattern and uh, uh, the problem is Ike has moved a little bit quicker and here's the deal. It looks like the trough over the north Western United States is not going to be quite as close, and therefore a curve 
a rapid curve, a, a sharp curve to the northeast is probably not going to occur. Now, uh, this certainly still does not look like a, uh, you know, a western gulf storm. This certainly looks like it may come a little further uh, west than 85 degrees, but probably not a great deal. And here's the uh, surface map for Wednesday. Now, it does look like the GFS is indicating a bit of a slowdown, and that would be true as it begins to interact with the upper air pattern, and uh, which is going to be the strongest. And this is uh, Thursday at midday, and it's off of uh, pretty much off Fort Myers, but well out into the coast or out into the Gulf, excuse me. And then uh, again on um, on Friday, we're still dealing with Ike. Now by uh, Saturday, uh, we can see the trough is beginning to uh, get close enough to possibly pick it up, and the GFS is suggesting that perhaps it's going to move north into the Big Bend uh, country on Saturday, and we can still see it uh, there in uh, off of Tampa on Saturday. And then by Sunday, uh, it finally gets picked up, and we see it over, uh, looks like, central Georgia. So there's still a lot of uncertainty. Now, just to give you an idea of how uncertain it is, Here's another computer model, and this is the European, and look what the European does. It takes it over to Brownsville. Now, isn't that amazing? I, I, I don't think that's going to happen, uh, but the interaction between Ike and the trough across the central United States, we've got to see when that occurs. All right, let's go out into voodoo land, and it looks like uh, we get back under a ridge by Wednesday the 17th, and that should keep things rather dry around here. And then at the end of the period, uh, 372 hours out, it looks like we're still under a ridge, and that keeps things relatively dry, perhaps with the possibility of a scattered shower. Well, we certainly appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Hope that you have a great weekend, and it is always exciting to be watching the tropics and see what happens. Hope that you have a great weekend, and God bless. Oh,